Welcome to the Lead Tools online video tutorial on creating a PDF document. To begin this tutorial, I'll start by opening a Microsoft Word document from the desktop. From inside Microsoft Word, I'll select File, and then Print. This will open the Print dialog available from any Windows application that supports printing. When the dialog is open, select Lead Tools ePrint 5 from the printer name list box. The print dialog may vary depending on your application, so the process may be slightly different than in this tutorial. I'll click OK to continue. From here you will be taken to the ePrint file saving dialog. Navigate to the directory where you wish to save your file. I'll use the My Documents folder for this demonstration. Once you are in the directory you wish to save, you can enter the name of the file here. Since I will be saving a PDF for this demonstration, I will enter My PDF as the file name. In order to save a PDF, I must first select the document file group from the file type like so. After this option is set to Document Formats, I can then select the PDF option from the Save As list here. There are several other options on this page that allow me to customize the way ePrint will create the file. The Save Each Page as a Separate File option allows me to create a unique PDF for every page in the document. If you wish to see the file on your hard drive after saving, you can select Open Folder After Saving, and the folder where you save the PDF will automatically open in Windows after saving the file. To add the file to the ePrint queue for converting later, check the Append to Queue option. If you wish to print the document to other printers on your system, such as a physical printer or even an ePrint task printer, check Route to Other System Printers. If you wish to send the file in an email, check the box titled Send Saved Files via Email. If you check this box, you will have the option to delete the converted documents after they have been emailed. Once these options have been selected, you can customize the parameters of your PDF by selecting the Options button. For the Options dialog, there are several tabs across the top for access to the customization options supported by ePrint. For more information on the content of these tabs, please go to Start, Programs, Lead Tools ePrint 5, and select the ePrint 5 Help. From the Help file, Select Graphical User Interface, Dialogs, Saving Files and Saving Options, Save As Options, and then PDF. We'll start with the general settings where you can decide the version of the PDF you wish to create, as well as the document title, subject, author, and the ability to add some keywords. For more information on the features under this tab, click the link titled General Tab from the PDF Save As Help documentation here. I will now move back up to the tab bar to explore the other options available. I will select the Compression option next. If you wish to employ compression on any non-image content of your document, you may select Generate Compressed Documents. Compressing the data streams and text can significantly reduce the document file size. In addition to compressing the text and data streams, the images within the document can use JPEG compression or have compression disabled. To use image compression, select the JPEG Compressed Images radio button, and then enter a value from 2 through 255 in the Factor Edit box. The higher the number, the greater the compression and the smaller the file size. Be aware that high compression will also reduce the quality of your images. For more information on the features under this tab, click the link titled Compression tab from the PDF Save As Help documentation here. If you wish to apply security settings to your document, you may do so by selecting the Security tab. Here you may choose to protect the document by selecting the checkbox here. You can choose to use either RC4 40-bit or RC4 128-bit encryptions by selecting the encryption method from the drop-down list box and then specify a user and owner password here. For more information on the features under this tab, click the link titled Security tab from the PDF Save As Help documentation here. To customize the way the converted PDF is displayed when opened, click the tab at the top labeled Open. Here you will find various options for customizing the interface of your PDF document when loaded into Acrobat, such as the page mode and layout, which page the document will display first, and the availability of various user interface components. For more information on the features here, click the link titled Open tab in the ePrint help file. The Font Embedding tab allows you to embed a font in your PDF document. If you click the checkbox titled Embed All Fonts, ePrint will include the fonts used in the PDF along with the document and image content. This allows for a higher degree of portability if you would like the fonts in your PDF to display as originally intended. If a document is created without font embedding, then any font used in the document also must be installed on any machine used to view the PDF or the fonts will not display correctly. When a font is embedded, this is no longer necessary because the font is included in the document itself. You must be careful when selecting the Embed All Fonts or Include Embedding of License Fonts checkboxes. 
Licensed fonts are protected by copyright, and you are legally required to ensure you comply with their licensing agreement before distributing them with your PDF. For more information on the font embedding features, click the link titled Font Embedding tab in the Help File. The URL Detection tab allows you to automatically create hyperlinks in your document for any URLs included in the PDF. Here you can specify an underline style and a color for the hyperlink text decoration. For more information on these features, click the Help link titled URL Detection tab. Now that I've set the parameters for my PDF, I can now click OK to finish or cancel to exit without using any changes I have specified. Clicking OK will return me to the file saving dialog where I can select Save to save the PDF according to the parameters I have set. I will now click Save to save my PDF. ePrint will begin converting my document and the ePrint icon will appear in the system tray while the document is converting. In this case, the file is a small PDF and the icon will not appear for very long. Now that the document has been converted, I can navigate to the My Documents folder where I selected to save the PDF and the new My PDF document is now available for use. This concludes the ePrint online tutorial on creating PDF documents. If you have questions about creating PDFs using ePrint that were not answered in this tutorial, please refer to the help documentation or send an email to support at ePrintDriver.com.